Now I'm going to answer some questions and also I will talk about uh, ministry. The first question I, uh, uh, that you ask is, how do I know I'm serving God? Um, my answer came from two, I mean, actually there are more than two verses, but then I'm going to talk about two Bible passages. One is Matthew 10:42. There it says that, you know, if any one of you, because someone is a disciple, that you give him a cup of cold water, you will by no means lose your reward. And that means, you know, when someone is in need and we help them, that is already something God likes. Whatever we do to bless people. And then also Matthew 25, the third parable there. The parable of the sheep and the goats. So when Jesus comes back, the sheep, that he will separate the sheep from the goats. And the sheep are those who have done good things to the little ones. Like visiting them, you know, and giving them food and what they need. And then Jesus said, whatever you do to one of these little ones you have done to me, so these two passages tell us that whatever we do out of a motive to, to bless people, already we are serving God. But I want to talk about the main uh, purpose of a ministry. Because the main purpose of our ministry in Matthew, uh, 20, uh, Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20, that is a great commission to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And whatever Jesus has taught us, will teach them to obey. So this is the main purpose of all the you know, helping and blessing people, all the purpose. To help people to believe in Jesus and to be disciples, that means to obey Him, to follow Him. And then whatever Jesus has taught us to obey, that will teach them also to obey. So when we lead praise and worship, we'll help people to have a close relationship with God. And we also help them to love God and obey God and serve God. And when we greet people who come to the church, we also care about them and welcome them and then help them to grow in Jesus. Or when we go and visit people, we don't just visit. 
but we also help them to know Jesus and follow Jesus. Because the main thing is that we we'll bring people to know Jesus and follow Jesus. Now, so whatever, first I want the, the answer to the question is, whatever we do to bless people, that's already, you know, when we do it out of a heart to love God, that's already serving God. But we have this, always have this purpose that when we do all these good things to people, we want to help them to love God and have a, uh, you know, to, have, to be safe and born again, and then also to obey God and serve God. Now I say this because there are some people who serve God in a church in some ways that they don't think of helping people spiritually. For instance, they greet people, they just greet people and say hi and welcome here. And they might just stop there. But, but if they have a heart to help these people spiritually, he will observe these people that need their feelings. And then he will find ways to help them spiritually or find someone to help them spiritually. So when we are leading worship, don't just, you know, praise and, and just, uh, just think of, okay, I've done my job, I praise God. Now, it depends on how we do it when we leave worship. In a way, when we pray and lead the worship, we can be declaring things like this, Oh God, you're so wonderful, you're so loving to us. I want to love you and I follow you. And I want to obey you. So the praise and worship is not just, you know, just worshiping God. But changing the lives of people. If we have this heart to raise up the spiritual life of people, that the way we live and the way we talk will convey that message. Okay, now so have I answered your question? Okay, so uh, what we want to do is whatever you're serving, whatever way you're serving, you think of how I can do towards in a way that I can help people spiritually.